So last year was a big year for the integrated GPU market because AMD released the RX 6800M based off of RDNA 2. This was a massive performance bump in the integrated GPU market because it just allowed you to use your regular thin and light notebook to actually play some games. Granted, you couldn't be playing it on high settings with everything cranked up to the max, but it was still feasible, like you could still do it. And the Iris XE, which hasn't been updated since 2020, was really starting to show its age. Now this year, they have the RX 7800M, which is the successor to last year's RX 6800M. Quick pause, I just wanna apologize. I keep calling the 680M the 6800M and the 780M the 7800M. Obviously it's the 780 and 680. Just wanna apologize. I say it about four or five times. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been a long day, but you get the point. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. And the biggest difference is that it's no longer being used on a six nanometer architecture, but now runs on a four nanometer one. So it's gonna be a lot more efficient. But when you look at the actual specs, it's still using 12 cores. It still has 768 shaders. And the real big difference in terms of overall performance is actually a slight boost to clock speeds. Like the 7800M can go up to 3000, even though in this laptop, it's only going up to 2.7, whereas the previous RX 6800M from last year can only boost up to 2.4. Now I'm using three different laptops to showcase the performance on this integrated GPU. I'm using the brand new Asus G14, the 2023 model. This is the 7940H S CPU. In order to get the new integrated GPU, it has to have a four in the CPU name. That means it's a Zen 4 product. If it's a three in the name, it's probably using the RX 6800M or a different version of it. So just keep that in mind when you're buying these laptops. For the RX 6800M, I have the 2022 Asus G14. And then of course, for the Iris XE, which is obviously gonna lose, I'm using the MSI Stealth 16 Studio. So the first test I did was with 3D Mark Time Spy to see how much of a year over year improvement we got. And it does show that there is a nice little update. You know, you're getting anywhere from like a 10 to 11% performance difference compared to last year's model. But then when you take 3D Mark Firestrike, for example, which is based off DirectX 11, the difference is negligible. Like it's not even that much faster at all. The big idea is to test it with games because I feel like that's where you're gonna see most of the performance. And it really depends on the settings you're using and what game you're playing. Like if you're cranking the settings all the way to high, which you shouldn't with an integrated GPU anyways, there is literally no difference. You're not gonna see a performance difference at all. The biggest difference comes down to when you lower the specs. So for the rest of these tests, I did a preset of medium in all of the games I tested and there is a difference. It's not a massive difference, in some games, for example, the actual frames per second were almost identical, but in some games you do get anywhere from a three to five FPS increase. The one thing I certainly can say though is that the Iris XE is so far behind right now when it comes to actual integrated GPU performance. It's actually really embarrassing. The good news though is that with the upcoming Meteor Lake CPU architecture, which should be announced later this year, it's gonna get updated. Like. The Iris XE is still using 96 execution units. Apparently that's getting bumped up to 128. And from what I'm hearing in the market, it should be very similar to an RTX 1650 or possibly even an RTX 3050. Now, for those of you wondering why I didn't test like Adobe Premiere Pro or Photoshop or anything like that, those are very CPU based focused applications. And it really wouldn't tell you how much faster these integrated GPUs are because these laptops are all using different CPUs and it just relies on the CPU so much more than the integrated GPU. The other thing to note is that you will have a performance uplift if you use an Iris XE chip with design based applications. It still uses QuickSync and QuickSync is obviously superior when it comes to encoding and decoding in Adobe Premiere Pro, for example. So there is still a benefit to using an Iris XE, but even playing some of my favorite games like Overwatch, it still runs great. All these games with medium settings and I'm getting around 120 to 123 FPS average, which is still really incredible for an integrated GPU. With the Iris XE, I really have to drop down the settings more and I'm not getting anywhere near close to over 100. The bottom line is these are still very impressive integrated GPUs and it's no wonder companies like Aeneo and even 
ASUS with their Ally are starting to use these integrated GPUs and these upcoming Windows-based gaming consoles. And I think with more time, these integrated GPUs are gonna get even better. So yeah, if you have a laptop with a 6800M, don't worry about it, keep chugging along. Your integrated GPU is just as good as these new ones and you're really not missing out on much. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.